good morning happy birthday welcome to the first day of the rest of your life um every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate every day yeah i didn't have a good day yesterday <laughs> okay i'm going to tell you a story um because those of you who have um uh been paying attention uh will have noticed that i did a post on thursday uh, about suicide uh, and then on friday i did a post uh where i referenced that post on suicide um and that was fine it was okay no problem at all um but um it did get us thinking it got, got my got my little gray matters thinking got my subconscious brain going a little bit didn't it um uh yes so and then on friday night i had to had a problem i have a crypto mining machine and i had a bit of a problem with that so i went to try and sort it out hello good morning jeff by the way um we're going to come on to the birthdays in a minute because there's a lot of them a lot of people to say happy birthday to uh, because i haven't done this since friday um but uh we'll get on to that in a second so yeah so i had a crypto mining machine i had a little bit of a problem with that on friday night so i was working on that late uh, so that meant i woke, woke up uh, late on saturday morning and then there was a huge day of sport on saturday wasn't there <laughs> um yeah so it was a whole wimbledon thing there was a grand prix qualifying there was a cricket match on uh there was the tour de france um uh, and then of course there was the uh i think the england football match was on saturday night wasn't it i think it was saturday night anyway <laughs> so um um uh, anyway, uh, and so yeah, so that was Saturday just gone, basically gone completely. And I woke up Saturday morning, and of course I don't do these things on normally on Sunday morning, so that was fine. Uh, and then we got to Sunday night, um, and on Sunday night, um, the film Yesterday came on BBC One at 8.15. Um, and I'd heard good stories about this, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a really good good movie. And uh, so I thought, oh, this is good, and my mum and dad were there, and I just said, oh, this is a good movie, apparently this is a really good movie. Uh, and I mentioned to dad what it was about is basically something happens and suddenly the whole world forgets that the Beatles ever ever existed. Interesting fact though, if you've ever watched the movie, um, Coca-Cola also doesn't exist, Harry Potter doesn't already, it doesn't exist. It's a little bit, little bit of a spoiler alert there, but, um, but yeah, there's a, there's a number of other things that come up that just don't exist in the new world that this guy's woken up in. I kept on thinking maybe it was a dream and it was therefore going to be a uh, and he kind of wakes up from it and then he realises that, oh, actually he's, you know, he figures out what's going on in his life. He kind of does. It kind of is a weird little sort of dream thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have to watch the movie to see that anyway. Uh, but my dad was very anti watching it. And I was like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> um, but then I went upstairs to watch it on my own. Um, and it really got me thinking. Uh, and it really just got into my brain. Um, I think a little bit about my dad kind of rejecting the idea of watching it as well kind of got to me a little bit um no offense to him absolutely not it's not a movie he wanted to watch and that's absolutely fine um but i think in my head because of, because of this adhd that i've talked about in the past and my rejection sensitive dysmorphia thing i think i really took that kind of rejection uh, quite personally um didn't realize at the time um because i just thought oh, that's fine i just go and watch it upstairs that's all right um, and then I watched the whole film and of course it's a really sort of really makes you think about your life choices and where you're going in life um, if you've ever watched it um, it's really good it's not great um, uh, but it's fun because you've got all these Beatles songs loads of Beatles songs I've never heard of as well so it now makes me want to go and listen to some more Beatles songs because I'm like is that Beatles is that really a Beatles song <laughs> didn't know that <laughs> um, and of course I kept on thinking when is he going to do Imagine but of course Imagine wasn't a Beatles song um, so, so I've slight spoiler alert there i should have said that at the beginning as well but i might add the uh spoiler alert into the uh <laughs> into the header of this this um this text um anyway um uh but it came out what 2019 i don't know anyway anyway it's on bbc iplayer by the way if you're in the uk it's on netflix as well so if you want to go and watch it on netflix or the ipa just go watch it it's worth watching um it's a cool and clever story um anyway um because it really starts to make you think about our reality and life and all that kind of stuff which is what i'm going to talk about in a little bit a little bit um, and so forth but uh, the ultimate long story of that is i kind of went to bed feeling a bit Meh, what's my, what's happening with my life what am i doing with my life and then i woke up on monday morning and i was really miserable i was really like not good i was in a really dark place on monday morning when i woke up um, i came out for a walk because i know that coming out walking in nature is a good thing for my mental health um, didn't fancy running so i walked um and um so yes, yeah, so basically all the things that I would teach people who were struggling with depression, I kind of put into place yesterday, Monday. Um, so I came out for a walk in nature. I sat in nature for a little while. Um, I talked to a, I, I talked to a friend, a positive, supportive friend. Luckily, she was available, uh, or she spoke to me actually, and then I responded back to her. Um, uh, 
but I, actually to be fair that was a bit of a frustration as well because I sent her a message on Thursday or Friday and I hadn't heard back from her and then I finally heard back from her on Monday morning um, so that was a little bit frustrating but it was nice we had a nice little chat while I was sitting on the uh, I was lying on that log over there just looking up at the trees um, on Monday morning and uh, listening to some motivational uh, talks on my on my uh, phone um, and I started to come out of my funk a little bit but it wasn't great I was still struggling a little bit uh, then I went back home uh, watched a movie a couple of movies I think I watched in you know because that's something that I love to do that's some fun that's escapism kind of gets me it stops my brain from going down the, the spiral negative spiral thing um, and uh, <laughs> I haven't done the happy birthdays, have I? Never mind. Uh, I'll come back to those in a second, promise you, promise you. Uh, happy birthday to all these people. I probably should have said right at the beginning. <laughs> happy birthday to Steve, Sunita, Heather, Elaine, Sophie, uh, Dan, come talk about, about Dan in a minute, uh, Alexandra, Melissa, Tina, Ali, Mark, Pauline, Namita, Chrisula, uh, Amy, Alex, Helen, Scotland, uh, Alan, Hetty, Sarah and Cecilia. Um, Alan, Hetty and Sarah, Sarah and Cecilia were all from Saturday, by the way. Uh, Namita, Chrisula, Amy, Alex, Helen are all from Sunday. <laughs> and then from yesterday, Monday was Dan, Alexandra, Melissa, Tina, Ali, Mark and Pauline, of course. So happy birthday to all of you people. Um, um, and uh, so that's it, I've done it now. <laughs> Don't want to waste any more time on that. Um, but I normally do a little happy birthday, blowing out the candles, mindful, mental, mental um, mindset breathing techniques. So I did these breathing techniques regular basis yesterday during the day as well. I also started thinking about what's good in my life. What is what is there to be grateful for? What what am I happy about? The fact that I could watch movies. The fact that I had a house to stay in. Uh, the fact that I had some nice food that mum gave me during the day. Um, and that I had coffee to drink. And you know, all these little tiny things that build up. Um, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so I took some time out. Watched a bit more tennis. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a, it was a it was kind of a good day, kind of day off really thing. Oh, I also got my crypto machine fixed. Oh, that was the other thing, of course, is that I got that working on um, Saturday, and then on Sunday it wasn't working again. So I had to go through this whole process of ah, what's going wrong with this thing? So Sunday was all like ah, why isn't this working? Um, uh, and then uh, yeah, so then on Monday I got it fixed. So I've spent a lot of time sort of trying to work that out as well. So I finally got that working yesterday afternoon. I was like, right, fantastic, that's working again, brilliant. Um, so that made me feel good as well. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> so I stopped myself from spiralling down, came out into nature, did a little bit of exercise, got some fresh air in my lungs, did some stuff that I loved, spoke to a friend that I enjoyed. These are all part of my 15 pillars. These are parts of my 15 pillars um, of, of, uh, of freedom from depression. Um, uh, can't remember what other ones I did. Um, oh, thinking about the gratitude. Um, recognizing the voices inside my head that were telling me oh what's going on terrible life you know what is going on here what are you doing with yourself and all that sort of stuff. stop it uh, as um, Jill Stanton would say catch cancel correct um, catch those negative thoughts cancel them and correct them um, similar to the uh, version I would say which is uh, ace a c e um, become aware make different choices and put effort in the time but that's really for reprogramming your brain over a long period of time to actually get that um, <clears throat> depression gone completely um, but it does come back as you've seen this is you know I've done this thing for ages and I don't normally struggle from depression but if I fell into that yesterday morning Monday morning and I was like oh I've got to do something about this I've got to stop it but here's the point because I've got all these tools and techniques because I've a couple, a couple of weeks ago I was talking about uh, training to run uh, getting yourself ready and prepared um, for the for the upcoming problems uh, because I've done all the training because I've put all the work in because I've been out in nature on a regular basis because I've been doing the exercise um, um, because I've been training my brain for positivity, when I found myself slipping down that slope into negativity and depression, I could get myself out of it. I could, I could change the course of the direction of those thoughts. I could dig myself out of it. It was a tough day yesterday, um, and I'm sorry I didn't come on here. I, I did think that maybe I should come on here and just be real about it, but the trouble is I was feeling so low that I didn't feel like I could get myself yesterday morning out of that and back up again. Um, so... <clears throat> these things happen <laughs> and here's the realty here's the real realty um, the reality um, is, is here here I am coming back now and giving you the the story of what happened to me yesterday um, and hopefully inspiring you to recognize that if you put the work in if you work with me if you learn the tools and techniques if you learn the 15 uh, pillars that are on my freedom cube thefreedomcube.com 
um, then you can do this for yourself. You can stop yourself going down this negative thing. I'm feeling pretty good today. Not great, but pretty good. <laughs> I'll be much better tomorrow. Um, um, plus, I'm going to have a chat with uh, Cordelia at 12 o'clock today, uh, which is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy that, although there's some stuff that I need to do before that. I need to cram in. Um, so I need to crack on with that. I need to get home and do that because I'm already a little bit late for the day. Um, but So the point is that there are all these things that you can do um, techniques and tools that I will teach you as part of my seven day Kickstarter thing. If you come and join me on that, um, you can do some of these things for free. If you download my um, create happy thoughts PDF, um, which make a comment, send me a DM and I'll send you a link to that, um, which will help you to reprogram your brain for positivity uh, every day, just five minutes a day, five minutes in the evening, five, well, not even five minutes, five minutes in the evening and about a minute in the morning. Um, uh, maybe I could just do it four minutes in the evening and one minute in the morning and then it is five minutes a day, isn't it? Um, <laughs> cool. Right, anyway, so that is my lesson of the day today. Or oh, one thing I wanted to add in here, um, actually, as far as rewriting the own story of your own head, um, is uh, I heard a story this morning about a guy called Richard Montagne, uh, who I think is one of the, used to be, it was Frito Lays is a, a, a potato crisp in America. Uh, and he's widely, he claims that he, he created the uh, Flaming Hot Cheeto, um, which is a crisp in America, very famous in America, not very famous over here because we don't have it. Um, uh, but of course, there's some dispute over that. And there's an LA Times uh, article about how it wasn't actually him that created that. Um, but when you actually read through the article and read through all the parts of it, you realize that elements of his story make sense in the context and elements of the other people's stories make sense in the context as well and actually I suspect it's probably a combination of both things his story and their story combined together that actually created the, the actual real story of course he tells the story in his own words and they tell the story in their own words um, and this is always the case uh, I have this conversation with people on a regular basis there are at least three sides to every single story there's your side their side and then what actually happens the the, the the truth as it were because this is your story from your perspective oh sorry this is your story from your perspective this is the, your, the, the story from their perspective and then these are the actual facts that happen in between and sometimes nobody ever knows the real facts um, the, the actual things that happen because everybody's got a perspective and if you think about it if you look at other people so you've got like five other people who also saw all these things they've all got five different perspectives and five different stories about that situation as well um, which is why it's at least two sides, at least three sides to every single story. Um, I've got a finger in my ear. <laughs> don't have an alarm. Don't know how to stop it. Hold on a second. Let me just see if I can stop that. And then we'll say goodbye. Uh, snooze. There you go. Right. That is my 9.30 meditation request. <laughs> because I'm running late. Because all my alarms are out of whack. Okay, cool. That's all from me for today. I uh, hope you have a lovely day. I'm going to send you love. Mm, I'll send you love out into the world. And remember, depression does not need to control you. You can control your depression if you choose to. Yes, not even your depression. It is just a state of mind that you have got yourself into, that you can dig yourself out of, and that you can take control and just delete it completely. Um, with my help. That's what I want to do, help. I want to help more people to do that uh, so that they never suffer from depression ever again. And anxiety, by the way. Um, it's basically the same thing. Depression being past, most, mostly based in the past. Anxiety being mostly that negativity from the past projected forward into the future. Um, because that's how it works. That's how our brains work. That's what happens inside our heads. So, cool. Take care. Love you all. Mwah. Hopefully. <laughs> assuming nothing horrible happens um i'll see you tomorrow morning it'll be wednesday tomorrow and uh oh it'll be quick tomorrow because i've got oh, wednesday mornings are always a bit busy for me anyway take care see you later bye for now